Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're covering one of Firebase's new features, Firebase Hosting's preview channels. This will be a two-part series. Uh, we're gonna cover some of the basics in the first part, and in the second part, we'll show you how you can use GitHub Actions to actually deploy these preview channels automatically when you push your code up to GitHub. Um, if you enjoy this episode, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. Uh, but without any further ado, let's jump into it. So you might be wondering, well, what are preview channels? That sounds pretty cool. Well, preview channels allow developers to deploy their code to a non-production Firebase hosting environment that's accessible by a URL that you can give to the rest of your team. In Firebase, there are live channels and now there are also preview channels. Your live channel will be the production ready version of your application and the preview channels can be any other version that you want to deploy to Firebase. Yeah, the preview channel can hold a a whole nother branch of your code. It can hold a pull request branch. And it's really just meant for any other version of your code that's not production ready. Your preview channels can also have expiration dates so that they're not just out there forever, but obviously your live channel will not have an expiration date because you don't want it to just disappear all of a sudden. So to get started using the Firebase preview channel feature, you'll need to have the Firebase CLI installed on your computer and up to the up to date with the latest version. You'll also need to have a Firebase project set up in your application's code base. So yeah, you will need to ensure that you have at least version 8.12.0 of the Firebase CLI installed. And if you need help setting up the Firebase CLI, you can check out our intro to Firebase video. We can provide a link in the description and that'll help you just get set up on that front. So the Firebase CLI gives us several useful commands to manage these preview channels. We have create, we have delete, deploy, list, and clone. And we'll show you a few of them here. So here we have a Firebase uh, hosting deploy command. And this will actually create the preview channel and go ahead and actually deploy it to Firebase. Um, and there's a few pieces that might stick out here. Uh, the first being the dash dash expires uh, flag. So we can specify how long we want uh, our preview channel to be available. If you don't use this flag, it will default to seven days. Um, and the max amount of time you can have is 30 days. You can also do it for hours or minutes even. So you, you'd replace the D with an M for minutes or an H for hours. Uh, the last bit of information here where we have preview blog is just a name for our preview channel. So let's go ahead and deploy our preview channel. So now that that is done, you can see that we got a URL and it's telling us when exactly our preview channel will expire. So another command is the Firebase hosting channel list command. And this will list all of your preview channels currently pushed to Firebase hosting. So if you have a big team with lots of PRs and different branches going on, you can use this command to kind of manage the existing preview channels in Firebase hosting. So after we run it, you can see we've got two channels being printed out. One is the channel we just created called Preview Blog, and you can see it's the expire time that we set earlier, as well as the live preview channel. And this is our production Firebase hosting instance with our live production code deployed to it. You can see it has an expire time of never because that one obviously is not meant to uh, come down at any time. So we're now in the Firebase web app in the hosting section, and you can see we have our preview blog preview channel deployed. And there's a few things you can do in the Firebase web app here. Um, you can open the settings and modify some of the settings if you like, the number of previous releases to keep. You can even change the expiration time if you wanna just extend it by a day or extend it by a week or choose a date manually, you can do that. And you can also, if you close the settings, you can just click view here and it'll open your preview channel in a new tab. And you can see we have our deployed preview channel of our web app. In the preview channel we just showed you, we changed the welcome text on the screen to 
hello, welcome to small batch devs, comma, and then the user's name. You might have noticed it, but if not, we did that so that we can tell the difference between our preview channel, preview blog that we just created, and our live production site. The reason that is important is because of the next command that we're going to show you, which is the cloning command. What we're going to do and what cloning allows you to do is create a copy of one channel and put it on another channel. So basically, a good scenario for this is if you're working on a preview channel, maybe you're you have a feature on your preview channel and it's determined to be production ready, then you can clone that channel that has the new feature on it onto your live version of your web app and it will just be updated and ready to go with that new feature. So as Elliot mentioned, we added some new text. It used to just say welcome and now it says hello, welcome to small batch devs, colon, and then or comma rather, and then the user. All right, so next we're going to run the Firebase hosting clone command. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the files that are on our preview channel and push them to our live server so that we can update our live server with whatever we have on our preview channel. And you can see here the syntax for that command is Firebase hosting colon clone. And then you'll have your source preview channel. So you'll have your project name colon preview channel name. And this is going to be where the clone is beginning where it's coming from, and then you'll have the target, which is going to be your project name and colon live. And that live just means it's going to push to your production live domain. So as you can see, it just said the SBD main blog channel preview blog has been cloned to the site SBD blog channel live. So let's go check it out. So now we've opened the live version, uh, the live channel of our web application. And you can see it has our updated changes that we made in our preview channel and cloned onto our live channel. So well done. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned a thing or two. And if you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. It would definitely help us out a lot. Also check out our smallbatchdevs.com website where we convert these YouTube videos into a blog format. As always, thank you very much for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Peace.